This is a video for the controller made by HLN and this controls the air heater that uh, I installed in my truck and I'm going to go tell you and go through the different menus. Um, so this controller is very well made. It's a good plastic with a good uh, touch. You have three buttons, uh, one rotary button, one button for the heater and one button to go back in the menus. So first of all, the rotary button will, whenever you touch one button, the, um, the screen will light up. And the screen is a TFT matrix. So that means you have a very good viewing angle and it works uh, in any temperature, like even minus uh, 30 degrees Celsius, it will work. So that's uh, a very good thing and you have a good resolution for the screen. This is the same kind of screen that is used for smartphones. So uh, very good quality here. On the main display, you'll see different things. Uh, first of all, you'll have the day of the week, a Wi-Fi symbol, current time, current temperature. You have the current, uh, like the, the level of the, the wind blower. And you have a mode. Currently, this is in mode uh, manual. So you have three different modes. If you click on the rotary button, you will go through the different modes. You have manual, automatic, and ventilate. Ventilate will not start the heater, but just start the fan, so you can ventilate the, uh, the air in your van. The manual mode um, will simply start and stop when you press on the, the heater button here. You have to hold it for a few seconds and an LED will start here and you'll have one symbol for the heater and the on symbol that it will tell you the heater in the, is in the starting process. Again, when you'll stop it, you'll have the off symbol that will again start the uh, the heater, the, the glow plug, and start the, the closing process. So in manual mode, you can just adjust the temperature by adding more and or less flow uh, on the heater. You have no temperature set, you just have the temperature, uh, the current temperature that is displayed. If you switch to automatic mode, what you will have as a difference, you will have a set temperature. Currently, this is set as 17 degrees Celsius. And um, what it will do is it will start whenever the temperature gets lower than the set temperature by uh, a set number of degrees the heater will start and when it gets over the set temperature by another set of uh, degrees the heater will stop so this is something that you can parameter in the settings we'll go through that after so currently by default it will be minus five plus two so whenever the temperature is five degrees under the set temperature the heater will start and when it reaches two degrees above the set temperature, in this case 19, the heater will stop and it will stop completely. Unlike other heaters that will um, continue to ventilate for just uh, at low temperature, this one will stop completely and start again uh, when the uh, temperature is too low. If you want to turn off the heater, you can hold that top right button for a while and the, you see now the ventilation is in off mode that means it will start the off process and uh, close up everything in a few seconds if you hold and maintain the set menu you have two other settings here one is voltage you can see the current voltage of your battery and the other one is the error 
So if you hold again and turn, you can enter the error mode and see the last error that was uh, displayed or registered in the uh, controller. To enter the settings menu, you need to hold the back button for a couple of seconds. And that gives you uh, different options. The first one is time. Time setting gives you uh, the way to change the current time and the day of the month. So you can simply turn the rotary button to increase the hour, click to go to the minute. Same again, you can change the minutes. Click again and you can change it through the day of the week. And back will save the settings. To enter again in the settings button, hold the back button. Next up is the alarm clock. Alarm clock is a bit confusing to me. Um, this is more like a timer. Whenever you start the heater, you can set it to work for a maximum of 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, by increments of five minutes, you can go all the way to uh, two hours. So here, 120 minutes. And if you leave to the three dots, the heater will never stop. After the alarm clock, you have the timer. The timer is more of a schedule. So if you enter here, you have six different schedules that you can set. You can set uh, one specific temperature, a day uh, of the week, a time to start, and how many minutes the heater should start. So if you know that every Sunday uh, at 10, you need to start your track, you can set it up like half an hour before um, to preheat um, the uh, environment. After the schedule, you have the settings. In the settings here, you can set the time to have the uh, screen display. So you can go from uh, one minute to 10 minutes. After that, the backlight will, uh, will like the screen will turn off. And you also have the uh, screen display. So from one to 10 more. So you can set the brightness of the screen from one to 10. Next is the fast, fast fueling. This is just to prime the heater uh, whenever you need. And then you have the Wi-Fi where you can reset the Wi-Fi settings and start over. Um, please note that uh, this unit is a Wi-Fi version. A new version with Bluetooth uh, is currently in the making and will be available soon in the shop. And finally, there is a hidden menu for advanced settings. To in enter the menu, you have to hold uh, these two buttons on the right hold them down and you will, so this menu is a bit less intuitive. Um, the first one is the temperature adjustment. Um, currently the outside temperature is 10 degrees and the display temperature is 10 degrees. If you need to adjust the uh, display temperature, you can set it here. Once you are set, you can click on the main button to go to the next setting. The next setting is the upper limit. So the heater will stop at 35 degrees Celsius, no matter what, but you can lower that temperature to, let's say, 30 degrees. The next one will be the lower limit. So this is the, uh, the lowest temperature that you can actually select. So if you don't want to select anything under five degrees. So it goes from five to the upper limit that I've set to 30. So I can go any over. Next is the negative difference. This means that whenever the temperature gets two degrees under the requested temperature, the heater will start. And next is the positive difference. So whenever the temperature goes five degrees above the requested temperature, the heater will stop. So you can adjust that by one degree from 
0 to 10 degrees. Next one is a bit tricky. This is a factor that will determine how the fan will work according to the difference in temperature between the temperature measured and the temperature requested. Uh, 1.5 means that whenever the temperature difference is within 1.5 degree, the setting will um, go to fan speed number one. If it goes to three degrees, so double the 1.5, the um, fan will go to speed number two and etc. So you can adjust that factor from one to five by increment of 0.5. So again, one degree temperature with one here, one degree temperature difference will go to one, two degrees temperature, the fan will go to speed number two, all the way up to uh, speed number four, whenever there are four degrees temperature. So 1.5 is the default. For start, this is a possibility to force, to tell the, the heater to start automatically whenever a temperature, a lower temperature is reached, in this case 5. For shutdown, maximum temperature, whenever the temperature reached is 35, the heater will stop. Voltage settings, this is the temperature to shut off the uh, heater whenever the battery uh, will go under a specific voltage. So you can go from 12 all the way down to 7. I recommend never using 7, that will kill your battery. Um, 11, 10.5 would be pretty much the minimum for the, uh, the battery to prevent any damage on long term. This is the voltage dead band, so it's uh, the accuracy of the measurement of the temperature. Then you have the temperature se sensor selection. You can go from 0 to 1. Um, 0 between, being the internal uh, temperature sensor and 1 being the external temperature sensor because the controller is equipped with the temperature sensor that you can relocate whenever you want. Next up, we have the ventilation speed selection. So if you go to zero, the ventilation speed is not selectable. If you go to one, you can select the ventilation speed when you are in ventilate mode. And next one is you, if you go to zero, that will reset to factory settings whenever you, you hit the uh, save button here. And that's it. So this is the, uh, the controller. Um, if you want to purchase a heater from HLN, which is very good quality for, and best for value, um, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you use the code Canada, you will have like a 5% discount. I'll get a small kickback from that as well. Um, and uh, overall, very, very satisfied with this uh, heater and this controller that looks very well. I still need to find a place to mount it permanently. Uh, but as you can see, this is like very discreet, small dimension. If you have any question regarding this heater and uh, the controller, don't hesitate to leave um, your question in the comments below, and it will be my it will be my pleasure to answer you.